Malaria is a disease caused by parasites transmitted to humans through the bites of infected mosquitoes. Without prompt and effective treatment, malaria can be fatal, particularly in young children and pregnant mothers. Most malaria cases and deaths occur in sub-Saharan Africa. From the estimated 214 million cases, 438,000 people died in 2015 from this terrifying vector-borne disease. The impact on people's families and livelihood can be devastating. Although malaria is curable, the key challenge is to prevent malaria from being transmitted to people. Indoor residual spraying of insecticide or sleeping under an insecticide treated net have been shown to be the most effective tools. But mosquitoes have become resistant to these insecticides. In 2012, Syngenta developed Actilic 300 CS, an effective indoor residual spray that provides protection from mosquitoes for up to a year from a single treatment. It was granted a formal recommendation by the World Health Organization for Malaria Vector Control in 2013. And since then, Syngenta has ensured that Actilic 300 CS is available in affected areas and to provide education as to its safe and effective use. Actilic 300 CS is effective on all wool types, including mud and cement, and has the potential for only one application per season. This means less waste, improved cost effectiveness and greater impact on human lives. Today, it is already protecting up to 20 million people and rapidly driving down malaria transmission rates. The positive impacts of Actilic 300 CS are many. It prevents infections, protects millions of people, and helps community to grow and develop. By helping to deliver a solution to removing the threat of malaria, you have become part of one of the most positive health stories of modern time. Actelic 300 CS has an excellent human and environmental safety record. If it is used correctly, it presents minimum risk to spray operators, householders, or the environment. There are important health and safety guidelines that must be carefully followed as directed by the label. Adequate protective clothing such as coveralls, hats, goggles, masks and gloves must be worn when handling the product. This clothing must be washed after spraying. Use Actelic 300 CS safely by wearing the correct protective clothing and following procedures. Household safety must be carefully observed. Before the house is sprayed, all occupants must leave the house. Any rooms occupied by people who cannot be moved, such as those who are ill or infirm, must not be treated. Remove all household items where possible or carefully cover any items that cannot be moved. Covers should be removed and washed after spraying by the spray team. Ensure the walls are completely clear, as you must be able to spray all wall surfaces without any obstructions. Finally, keep all animals away from the area to be treated. Now that the property is ready for spraying, you should prepare your equipment. In this video, we will introduce you to the equipment that is used in applying Actelic 300 CS and what must be done in preparing the equipment for use. Equipment must always be stored carefully to avoid damage. Actelic 300 CS should be applied via compression sprayer that meets the WHO specifications. Never use as equipment as it may not meet the requirement of the task. Before any application for Actelic 300 CS, always carry out the following preparations. The compression sprayer. All the routinely maintained must be checked to ensure there are no visible leaks. 
calibrate the sprayer before each spraying session or at least once per week during spray operations. Fill the spray tank with water to the maximum level as indicated on the tank. If using a 1.5 bar constant flow valve, fill the tank with 7.5 liters of clean water. Replace the lid tightly and pressurize the tank to 4 bar or 60 psi as indicated by the gauge. Operate the trigger on the lens for one minute, collecting the spray into a calibrated jug. Measure the volume collected to determine the spray output. Repeat it three times and calculate the average. The correct volume per minute for the 8002 nozzle should be 0.56 liter per minute. If the flow rate is outside the 5% tolerance, a new nozzle is required. Once the spray equipment is calibrated, then you are ready to prepare the spray solution. The application of Actilic 300 CS will protect people and help remove the threat of malaria for families and entire communities. That's why it is important to follow the correct procedure. Once the property has been cleared, the spraying equipment is calibrated and you are wearing the correct personal protective equipment, then you are ready to prepare the spray solution. First, you will need to begin by putting some clean water into the sprayer, approximately 4 litres. Take the bottle containing Actilic 300 CS and shake well before opening. Then empty the contents into the spray tank. Rinse the bottle three times with clean water and then add this to the spray tank too. Top up the tank with clean water to the required final volume of 7.5 liters. Fix the lid tightly in position and shake the tank to mix the contents. Using the pump lever, pressurize the tank to achieve 4 bar or 60 psi. The application equipment is now ready. Enter the cleared house and start in the room furthest away from the main door, so that you don't have to re-enter any area once it has been sprayed. The correct method for spraying the walls is to start in the furthest corner of the room. The nozzle should be constantly positioned, just under half a meter from the wall surfaces you are spraying. Spray from the bottom to the top of the wall, then move across and spray downwards. You should achieve a spray width of around 75 centimeters, and each successive spray pass should overlap with the previous one by about 5 centimeters. The timing of the movement of the lens is important. You will need to apply a consistent amount of the mixture across all of the walls. Each meter strip of wall should take approximately two seconds to cover. Repeat this action across the whole surface of the wall. It takes plenty of practice to handle the spray lens to ensure the right level of the mixture is applied. Too much application means that the mixture is being needlessly wasted. Too little means that the home will not have enough protection. If the ceiling is accessible, it should also be sprayed in the same way. Walk backwards during application to avoid walking into any airborne spray. Continue spraying all walls walking towards the door taking care that no parts of the wall have been missed. Repeat this method in each room. Once you have completed the treatment, remove all spraying containers and equipment. A treated house must not be entered for at least one hour after treatment and until the spray has dried. The first person to enter the house must be an adult who should sweep or wipe the floor before children or pets are allowed to re-enter. It is 
then save for occupants and their household items to be returned into the house. An effective protection of houses from mosquitoes requires that you deliver the same attention to detail every time. We hope this advice is clear. Please ask your supervising trainer if you have any questions. <laughs>